friends. Welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. And this is episode 30 what? of our show about shows. We made it to 30, wow. the big 3-0, dirty 30. What's up? This is a good episode to be here with us right now. Okay, so we got some exciting things for you. So we're going to start with our first segment called TV Tidbits. And I'm going to go first with mine. So, sorry, American Horror Story fans, but it looks like we won't see much, if any, of Sarah Paulson in the new season of American Horror Story called 1984. Good year, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 1984. <laughs> um, so, she's always played, like, really significant roles in the last eight seasons. So, it'll be really weird not seeing her cute face there. Very good actress, by the way. She got mm -hmm. five Emmy nominations for her various roles because oh, you know wow. it's an anthology series, so like they don't play the same character every season, but there's it's usually like pretty much the same actors every season. So that's weird. Um, so being like the diehard American Horror Story fan that I am, I'm gonna be a little disappointed by this, but I know she's very busy because she's like a big deal now and she's mm -hmm. awesome. So she has like movies coming up and she has like other TV shows. So you know, sometimes it's just time to move on. And I respect that. But I will miss you, Sarah Paulson. Um, anyway, so, by the way, um, season nine of American Horror Story, 1984, mm -hmm. it will, well, it's set to premiere September 18th. So check it out, even all though these, she won't be there. All these 80s things. I know. I the 80s are back. And I'm okay with it. Yeah, me too. So that's my TV tidbit, everybody. What's your TV tidbit? So my TV tidbit is about this year's Shark Week. Oh. So, Shark Week is yeah. just a few weeks away, July 28th, and for the first time ever, Discovery Channel is going to include an original feature-length movie. Whoa. Yeah, so they've never done this. It's mostly like documentary. Congratulations. Yeah, and it is entitled Capsized, Blood oh. in the Water, starring the beautiful Josh Duhamel, a.k.a. X, Mr. Fergie. Oh. <laughs> he is beautiful. Who I have had like a little bit of a crush on since he was Leo in All My Children. Oh, really? One okay. One of my soaps from back in the day. He looks really so, scruffy there. Yeah, he's looking like pretty it. good. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this is based on a true story from the eighties. <laughs> what? Um, about these people who were on a yacht headed to Florida, and like it capsizes, they're in the water, and then sharks eat some of them. That's scary. Yeah. Sharks. They're scary. Yeah. They. Yeah, are dangerous. Mm. So, but I mean, I think I would watch this. I'm not, I actually have not been a Shark Week viewer. No. I understand the phenomenon. I'm all for it. But oh. I mean, having a movie starring Josh Duhamel may convert me. So good job, Discovery Channel. Well, I'll be honest. I don't love Shark Week. I don't love sharks. It's not because they're bad. They're just doing their thing in the water, and we're invading their waters. But, like, I'm scared of them, okay? Yeah. And it'd be nice if they would stop, like, you know, biting people, mm -hmm. eating them, right, right? right? Okay. Then I'd be probably a bigger fan. So it's not your fault I'm scared of you, but, like, but I am. Yes. So. Yes. But good job. Shark Week, I know, yeah. is very successful. Very I know popular. most of my friends do love Shark I Week. I know tons of people. Yeah. And I feel like more will evolve into fans because of Josh. Josh Jamel. Josh Jamel. Uh, that was pretty smart marketing. Yes. That was, yeah, mm -hmm. well played. Yeah. Anyway, oh, that was a very good well, thank you. Yeah. But um, let's move on to our next segment, which is called Worth a Watch. It's time for us to recommend a show that we think is watchworthy. Um, so again, I'm going to go first. Okay. And my TV show is called Younger. Oh. Have you heard of it? I have not. Really? No. It's on TV Land. Okay. That is why. Yeah, that is why. You think of like Golden Girls, don't you, when you think of TV Land? Or like Nick and Night. Did they do Nick and Night? Well, TV Land is a different oh, channel Nick. than Nickelodeon. <laughs> but close. I would say but it's the close. the same no, idea. I get it. Okay, old yeah. TV. <laughs> sure. Yes. Ex no, yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> <laughs> Younger is actually about a 40 year old named Liza who's oh. suddenly like a single mom and she's like trying to get back into the workforce because oh. yeah she didn't have to before so that she's trying to like she, so she's a writer and when she was like in her 20s she was like very successful and then so she's trying to go back into it as a 40 year old and she's finding out that it's kind of 
hard to start at the bottom when you're in your 40s. Yes. So she's like, well, this bites, you know, like, <laughs> dang it. So she's, like, at a bar with her friend, played by Debbie Mazar. Love oh, her. Oh, I love her. Yeah. So this, like, 20-something-year-old guy hits on her thinking she's 20-something-year-old. Nice. And so she's like, wait a minute, maybe I could pass for, like, a 26-year-old. So she gets a job and tells him she's 26. They totally buy it. And, yeah, so she's trying to navigate this world being younger. Get it? Get than it. she actually is. She's befriended by um, Hillary Duff's character. Oh. You, we all know Hillary, Hillary Duff, Duff, obviously, yeah. So it's just kind of cool. I didn't expect to like it. It was, it was recommended to me by my the person that does my facials, which is so <laughs> random. Thank you, Megan. Um, anyway, but I was, like, you know, not expecting it to be, like, really entertaining, but it is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. And Sutton Foster, who plays the main character, beautiful, love her. She's awesome. So... A pleasant surprise. There have actually been, I can't believe it, six seasons. Oh, wow. Yeah. I just finished the first one, and so I'm really happy that I have a lot to binge. Don't you love it when that happens? Yes. Like, oh, I don't have to wait. And they're only like 20 to 22 minutes long, so honestly, like, there's a new episode on Wednesday oh. at 10 p.m. Thank you so much for that. Um, and also, it was written by Darren Starr, who also <gasps> created Sex yes. in the City, so... You know it's good. No, so. it's place now, so no. Okay. That's my gift to you, everybody, on episode Dirty 30. Nice. <laughs> okay, what's your worth of watch, Dr. S? My worth of watch, so kind of similar. Um, it's called Working Moms, and it's a Netflix show. Mm -hmm. There are already four seasons. <laughs> what? Where have they been? So it's actually a Canadian sitcom that is somehow like a Netflix, Netflix original. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of, I'm going to figure out how... Something that already has four seasons then becomes a Netflix original. Okay. <laughs> like, it must have something to do with, like, being from Canada, but now on Netflix, where it will have worldwide distribution. Right. As a Netflix show, because right. it's not original. Like, Netflix did not make it. Oh, gotcha. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, more to come on that in future episodes <laughs> of Tori Talk TV, TV Talk. Yes. But um, it stars Katherine Reitman, and it's about um, women who uh, are going back to work after being on maternity leave and the adjustment, and it is oh. hilarious. Yeah? It's raunchy. It just, it's very truthful as somebody who has been in that position, um, just about, like, the struggles that you go through um, being a working mom, how people judge you. Or oh. making the choice to work when you, you know, should be taking care of your children. So, so much pressure. Um, yeah. It's but it's, yeah, it's so funny. It's very, like, raw and um, definitely, definitely worth a watch. And there's already four seasons. Did you say Kevin Reitman? Yeah. Any relation to Ivan? I don't know. I was <sighs> Something to Google. thinking that. More yeah. to come on that, too. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, but it is very fun. Show. Hey, that's really nice. Right? Right? Yeah, For the definitely. working moms yes, out there. It is. It's, yes, exactly. Very You're not cool. alone. Right. Oh, that's so cool. The Canadians also do that. <laughs> they do? They have babies that go uh, back to work, too. They're so perfect. Right? <laughs> Gosh, our neighbors to the north. Anyway, <laughs> that's a good suggestion. Thank you for that. All right. Let's wrap it up, everybody. So this has been episode 30 of Tori Talks TV. <gasps> What a what a nice episode that right. was. All right, everybody, if you could please for our thirtieth anniversary you know, thirtieth episode. 30th episode. If you could just like and and subscribe and maybe leave us a comment, we would really appreciate it. We love doing this and we love you all for watching, so thank you so much. And you know what? We'll see you next time on Tori Talks TV. Happy TV watching everybody. Bye bye for now. Brian's like favorite pickup line on Tinder was, how free are you on a scale from one to America? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Brilliant.